natural beauties and natural well natural beauties and gents because i don't know if i got any natural men anyway <sighs> so i'm at 970 well i mean 900, 910 i'm at an hour and six minutes i like to get in at least an hour a day or hour 30 minutes um when I first moved over here, I started doing 30 minutes. Like I said, we go to the rec center. But today, my boys didn't feel good. I'm going to the rec center for about three days. But today, they don't feel good. So I had to work out in my back. Um, I stay in like two-story building apartments. And like in the back, I work out. It's weird because other strange people are out there and they can stare at you. I don't like that. My husband even thought some little girls was recording me. And I went up to and asked them. And they said, no, ma'am. I said, baby, I ain't no ma'am. I'm only 24. <laughs> I know it's out of respect, you know what I mean? But anyway, don't be recording somebody under their own. Like, that's disrespectful. But I told him, I said, y'all can record me if y'all want to. But ask me. Don't just be rude. <clears throat> I told y'all before, like, I don't stop my watch until my heart rate has gone down. Now it's like at 928. So they mean my heart rate is still up. Basically, I'm just going to come to you guys and show you my Sweat results. Be back. So, I wear, like, for some reason, like, because I got the dry more collection, I, I don't mind my clothes being dry. Like, I told y'all, I wear jackets because my husband, I'm not ashamed of my weight or anything. I used to be ashamed of it at first, but I do it more so for my husband because he told me he didn't care today if I, um, is when I throw it out of jacket on. But I feel like it's respect on his wife. I told him that. He said, I thought you was doing it for um sweat rules. I said, no, babe. And I do have my buttons on. Anyway. I did a lot of legs. I hate the way when my belts and stuff be on you. It'd be first time up against you. Let me see if you guys can do that. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. My phone kind of tilted. I hope it don't come on crooked. But anyway, let me show y'all this real quick. Sweat content. I did use pre workout today. And I use this on my skin. I've basically been using this. I don't use it all the time. I don't even know how much I got in it. Like, it kind of feels like it's at the top right now. I'm not sure. I hope not. Because my cape or belt comes here Monday, you guys. You get here Monday. You already know sent them out. So, yeah. Because I'm, thank God, I did went out here and bought that belt. Because this one has been through it all. Look this sweat. You saw that that sweat is still starting to rip. Right there. Yeah. So. It's heavy too. So I know a lot of sweat in there because you can see it's starting to come through on this side and stuff. So. Yes. Sweat me. Like I told y'all before, I wash it in hot water and I use this. It's just sitting in my bathroom. So let me check. See my heart right down there. Still up a little bit, so we're 16. So, um, I just wanted to show you guys the sweat content. Let me put my head up in the back. So, this is some sweat content back there. Oh, yeah, it's wet. You see the dry look? That thing right there is from when I got, um, I started using Dandy Line. T, I found out that you could be like holding things in the inside of your body it's making you um slow your weight down so i said okay let me try to detox tea and i know i do only have a liver left i have my gallbladder removed so having just the liver part there for the digestion period i have to drink a lot of detox teas a lot of teas that's going to help flush that liver so i bought recently when i recently got with the god about um, the Everyday Detox by uh, Traditional Medicine, I think that's what it's called. So, yeah, I got that tea and I am great. So, like I told y'all, I worked out today in my back and then like, 
<clears throat> I started feeling uncomfortable because too many people was out there staring and stuff. So they kind of stole my, my workout session down. So they all said, okay, came house to my husband. I told him I said, I want to go around the corner, go run and walk. So I speed walk up the hill. The devil started messing with me. He come a man. He come a man. He might, you know, mess with you. So I was turning back around. He was like, God was like, no, you keep going. And, um, that's what he said. He said, keep going. And I get up to the hill. I trust and believe God. I believe he talks to me. I don't care what anybody else thinks or say. Um, I go up the hill. Another man coming. The devil started to wink in. The devil talks to you as well, no matter how Christian you are. Um, so I go up the hill. The, the devil's like, oh, there go another man. He got a dog or something. So I started looking. And he started playing with my eye to the devil. And I looked. And God said, no. I turned around to my He said, no, baby. Go ahead and go up and walk and run back. So I speed walk up. My, then, my, then I pass the guy. Then my legs start hurting. They start hurting bad. And I'm telling them, and my legs and stuff, I'm telling them, like my arms get toned. I'm telling them. So, and I can still run fast speed like I did when I was still skinny. So <clears throat> I get up that hill and I pass that guy. He said something to me. I didn't hear it. I kept going. And I see some other people staring at me. I just ran down the hill. I picked up a stick because I wasn't sure what the hell was going the dude was gonna say. I said, God, not God at that time. I said God. So um what the guy was gonna do. So but I could fight and all that, but I don't like I don't wanna fight. No, I just don't. But if it's my life, I'm going to have to fight. So I get up that hill. Let me see what my heart rate is, because you know I'm talking. So I get up that hill and I run back. I run back and I go up the hill again and I try to run back again. And I did it twice. So for me saying that, um, all things through Christ is who strengthens us. Don't never let any obstacles or any um things coming your way to stop you from your goals. If I never went up that hill, I wouldn't be at a thousand and three. Calories burn right now. I haven't done a thousand calories in in months. Okay, in about I mean not months. In about two months, I haven't. So that lets you know, like the devil comes, he steals and kills and destroys. But when God is in it, there is no limit. Yes, I'm quoting that, but it's true. If God is in it, there is no limit. So you keep going. You believe. You faith. Your faith is strong. See, God still got your back. So I feel like this video can be very um motivational. So for me to say that I've been going through a lot of depression these past two months and I have to pray and I have to believe that God will take it away and He has. And I got up to 232, y'all. 232. And I got back up to 232. It's 222. I flunked away from 222 to 32. I mean to 220 to 222. So then I check, um, I said, you know what, God? I said, I can't do this. We low on food and all that kind of stuff. I was stressful. Um, we go grocery shopping Monday. You know, he's getting paid. So I I believe, like, I'm like, my children need to eat more than I do. So eating fruits and vegetables is hot to pay for. And I, in my, in my body state and what I have to do to, Keep from getting sick and dying. I can't eat ramen noodles. I can't eat no fried chicken. I can't. I might eat fried chicken every now and then, but I can't eat no no skin with chicken on it. I can't eat. I just can't eat certain things that's going to hurt me. I can't eat frozen foods that's going to kill me. I just got to eat fruits and vegetables and fish. But let me tell you something. I pray. I pray the other day. I said, God, I said I'm getting sick. Start getting sick again, y'all. I woke up out of my sleep sick as a dog. I could not digest that food that I ate because when it comes to my children, I buy what I feel like they can eat and they can survive until their next payment. You know what I mean? And so as that happened, I got 
sick. I said, Father God, I come to you right now in the name of Jesus. I ask you to heal my body in the name of Jesus over the sickness and disease that is not of you, Father God. And as I begin to say that, Father God, and I ask, Father God, can you please forgive me for all the sins that I have done and the sins I did not know I had done, Father God. And when I did that, Next thing I know, my stomach was empty. Y'all oh, tell me that I am God. My stomach felt empty. Before that, I was congested. My stomach was bloated. My stomach has went down. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but my stomach has went down. I do not have now I have it squeezing. But my stomach has went down because I've been eating crap, meaning stuff I ain't supposed to be eating that can kill me. And the thing is, is that when I was skinny, I did not know certain things my mom was buying was healthy. I didn't know. So when I moved with my husband, I started eating the negative stuff. Cooking him fried chicken every day, cooking him pork chops every day. I did not know. I remember when I got up to 190 something. And the lady said, um, at the week office, she said, baby, you need to work out since you don't have no gallbladder no more. See, my, my doctor that did the surgery did not tell me, hey, um, you need to work out because it's going to be your best friend for life. She told me, she said, you know what? You can eat your burger. She said, because I don't eat healthy either. Eat a burger, but you can eat a salad again. So I'm thinking, my mind said, I go up here, I'm cooking and stuff. I'm stressed out because it's a new environment for me. My husband's family already didn't want us to be married. Um, they already thought he wasn't, um, that wasn't my husband's child because I live thousands of miles away from him. I stayed in Oklahoma, like I told you guys before. And it was just so much stress. So before I knew it, I was one. Then I started to lose the way we moved in with my sister. It was stressful there. It was like a de demonic, stressful spirit there. I was not into God like I am now, y'all. So the only thing I have to tell y'all before I think I have, the only thing I need to get rid of is that cussing spirit. It seems like it soothes me. And everything that the devil is in, it seems like it soothes you just like drugs, just like um, alcohol. It soothes that moment. But that's not... That's not God's will, so I pray that that spirit gets up off of me because I want it off. I have went without cussing for three or four months as God was working in my family. We went without a car. It was times where we only lived on $600 a month. We went, <laughs> and now we're driving a 2014. I'm going to tell you, God, it was so good. My husband had his two jobs, and oh, there's so much testimony I can get y'all. I just don't know. And um, it's so much, yeah, two jobs. Everybody in my family was like, oh, how are you going to get this car? How are you going to be able to afford that? See, when, when God is in it, like I said, when God is in it, there is no limit. And whatever God has for you, the devil cannot take. So let me 